Hello, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Software Inc. I certainly hope you're having a wonderful day because I'm certainly excited to be back. It's been a little while since we last stopped in with Nerdresoft. Don't worry, that company is going to be coming back. You haven't seen the end of my adventures with Nerdresoft. We have to finish that series and we are going to. But the save file for Nerdresoft is in another country. So unfortunately, we don't currently have access to that. So today we are jumping in with what we'll consider to be an alternate universe version of Nerdresoft, which isn't actually called Nerdresoft. This company is Slapple. And right now, this company is just little old me. And that's me right there on the bench, having a bit of a snooze, waiting for the office to have some stuff in it. And Slapple isn't going to be your normal type of company. Slapple's not going to be operating the same way I usually operate my companies. We're going to give Slapple a focus. And the goal of Slapple is going to be to dominate and eventually take over the mobile market. And I have a few ideas for how we're going to do that, but first we need to go ahead and actually build some kind of office. I should mention I'm running a few different mods. So I have these nice desks and all that sort of stuff. There's there's basically, you know, there's table mods, there's kitchen mods, there's books that can go on tables, there's meeting chairs and stools and swivel chairs. We even have a letter mod, which will let me put up like a sign outside of a building in the future, which I'm so excited about. We have placeable walls because I like the idea of placeable walls. We have trim, which I think also looks kind of neat. So we can put some trim around, you know, put some pillars across or even put some pillars up if we want to. Basically, there's some pretty cool stuff. Did I mention that we started in the year 2000? I don't know if I did that, but we're starting in the year 2000. Anyway, let's go ahead and spend a little bit of money. Let's get ourselves some tables. So we'll go for one there and we are just going to start with the one. And I'm also curious, the executive chair is 240 pounds. The swivel chair which is right there, is 300. But we're going to get that because I think it looks kind of neat. So we'll get the swivel chair, and we are probably going to want to go in with a decent computer to start with. So I think we will go in with the modern computer just there. And I should probably give you a little bit of an overview of what our character here is able to do. So if we have a little look, he is... This is different. This is very different, the way it shows your roles there. I guess that's a way of sort of showing it easily. Uh, but he is not an artist. He does have skill in design and code, though. He's also a good team leader. So that's pretty much what we've set up my character to do. But in the meantime, we're going to need to take out some contracts. So let's go ahead and say that we could do a website and we'll accept that and give it to the core team and hopefully get that done full oh, develop, please. Hopefully we can get that done nice and quickly. Unfortunately, it does require art, which I did not anticipate. I did not anticipate having to do some art there. That's going to go painfully slowly. We're going to have to just promote that and say that it's, you know, kind of done. I'm so sorry about the absolute tripe that I just released, but we are focusing on the mobile market, so I guess we're going to have to get used to that for a while. Releasing absolute tripe. Also, the phrase absolute tripe is kind of fun. Anyway, let's take a logistics application. Let's take two of them. And let's see if we can get those to make us some pretty good money. So we'll go ahead and develop and develop. And they're both going to get done super, super quickly right there. So promote you and promote you. And we can go ahead and get up to like 10 bugs each and just release them. Getting me up to $77,000 total at the moment. And honestly, let's have a little look and see what operating systems are out there as well before we even go any further. So if we look at releases, if we look specifically at operating systems, we actually have Lion Thing OS 3, which is a phone operating system. It is great quality. So let's have a little look and see what we could make. Obviously, we could do our own phone operating system, but I don't know if we want to do that. If we look at 2D editors, I don't think 
they can go on a phone operating system. Obviously, things like game engines can, and I think games can as well, but I don't know if we want that. If we have a look at releases, audio tools are computers as well. So what can we release at the moment? Is there anything we can actually release for a mobile device at the moment? It doesn't actually seem like there is, which is a little disappointing. Possibly a game engine? Yeah, so we could totally do a game engine. The license is a little pricey there. Uh, the license for this one is apparently free, though. How many people are actually using that? Okay, very. there's no units sold at all on Pen2. That actually makes me wonder, could we trade the IP there? Yeah, they want £415,000 for it. I don't think that's going to be happening. So I don't know if we want to make a game engine. I don't think a game engine is where we want to go. So what if we said we wanted to make a game and we wanted to put it on this operating system right here? We'd have to use an engine which actually does not exist. Okay, I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to make a game engine and we're going to say it is going to be... It's going to have HD audio. It's going to have 2D rendering. It can have 3D rendering. It can have 3D... Wow! It's 2000 and we're going for like 3D... At Hold on a minute. No, 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 no. We went over the top there. Hold on. Take out the 3D stuff. Let's add in the phone operating system again. It can have 2D rendering. I don't think it can have 3D rendering. No, it cannot. Okay. It could have a visual editor and visual scripting. It can have audio assets. It can have physics and scripting. And this is just a game engine. And it's apparently going to take two years with three designers, six programmers. I think what we'll maybe do is go back to some contract work. Let's see here. So an embedded system. Let's grab the embedded system and see if we can do that nice and quickly. Oh yeah, this will be no problem. Promote that and release that. So that got us up to $82,000, which is going to be a nice profit for us there. We do have a pretty substantial loan to pay back. I should probably mention that uh, because if we have a bit of a look... We borrowed quite a bit of money. We borrowed quite a bit of money. This one right here, we're going to have to pay back 166000 total. Can we... I don't know if we want to try paying that back just yet. Let's see what we got here. Game assets and game assets only. I think we have the money to probably go ahead and hire an artist. I reckon we could do that. I also want to look at these desks. Because the desks are actually really neat. Uh, so what if we were to do, what if we were to do this kind of desk here? Oh, that looks so good. Look at that. Can we move you. Oh, we totally can. Can we put that there? Oh, we can. Interesting. Okay, so that can go there. And then we'll go ahead and delete that piece of furniture and that piece of furniture. And then we have things at like the corner desks and all that kind of stuff, which is really, really cool looking. We've got these, like, curved ones. We've got wall shelves, which are really cool looking. Side tables. We've got cabinet counters. We've got actual cabinets. That's A, a lot of that's kitchen stuff, I should probably mention. A lot of that is, uh, is actually designed for kitchens, which, I mean, we can make a nice looking kitchen at some point. Uh, let's see here. Let's go for a row of novels there, perhaps. That seems kind of uh, kind of cool. Double shelves. Look at you. All right. I'll tell you what. Let's bench corners. Interesting. Let's just go for another desk. Let's just go for this one. We'll get another one of those. Then we can duplicate that and duplicate that. And what I want to do is actually assign that computer to me. So that is my computer right there which is probably for the best. We could also make the room a little bit nicer to be in. So let's go ahead and put a table plant there. I think we've also got... I don't think... Maybe we don't. There is a pack on the Steam Workshop that... Oh, the shelf server. Is that... That must be a mod as well. It might be. There is a pack on the Steam Workshop that lets you improve bathrooms. I don't know if we have that, though. 
I'm not really sure, so I'll operate under the assumption that maybe I don't. Uh, what I would like to do, though, is go ahead and grab the little end table, because I think it's quite nice. We'll put it there, and then maybe we could put some books on it. Is that a thing we can do? It totally is. So we'll put some books there, since I think that looks kind of neat. And then we've actually got, like, these kind of dividers. We've got the... We've got the ploppable wall in there as well, which could totally divide up those tables. I'm so excited to start building our own place. I really, really am so excited to get to that. But it's a little while off. Anyway, we'll put that up there. And we'll go ahead and see if we can hire ourselves an artist. So they're going to specialize in... I guess audio tools? I guess we'll try and go for an audio tool. We'll give them a low salary, but we'll spend a lot looking for them. We'll spend a lot looking for them. So let's see here. Compatibility what needs to be great. Skill isn't going to be very high. So let's look for someone with great compatibility and a low price, which looks like it's going to be Davis. Uh, I assume Wagner. I assume I assume that's what we're going for here. We'll go ahead and hire this guy. I think that's fine. Uh, he'll help us do like the game assets and all that stuff that we want to do. And look at this little office, man. I love it. I absolutely love it. Can we go ahead and customize those chairs to look even better? Because they look good. They do look good, but I think they could look a lot better. So the backs of those can be like... Uh, I feel like we're too young of a company to have like custom chairs right now. I feel like the company is not old enough or established enough to have custom chairs. So we'll go for like white, uh, white office chairs there. We'll make the desks a bit of a different color as well. Maybe those can also be like white desks and the drawers can sort of be, oh, oh, we're going for this minimalist thing. That's what we're doing. We're going minimalist. The base of the computers is going to be that. And the keys are going to be quite dark too. Actually, what if the computers were the other way around? So the computers are quite dark, but the keys are quite light. Yeah, I like that a lot. Okay. And then the lamp is going to be... I think it's going to stay white, maybe red, actually. Maybe like a kind of red or like a green kind of lamp looking thing. I think we'll just go white on the lamp. It looks a little silly. Otherwise, actually, maybe just sort of a gray. And then the plant over here. I know this doesn't matter, but I, I really enjoy this. Uh, we'll get the base of the plant to sort of be like a gray as well. And the frame of the painting is actually going to be sort of a green color. And then this thing is also going to be a nice uh, white just there. And can I change the books? Oh, I can actually change the books. All right. Uh, so orange and sort of a light blue. And then tertiary can be green. All right. That looks ridiculous, but I love it. Uh, so we aren't actually doing anything right now. We don't have any contracts that we can take. So we are just going to wait until tomorrow. Then the artist can come in, which is fantastic, and we can go ahead and actually do some different things. So we can do game assets and we can do logistics. So we'll grab that, we'll grab that. And let's just go to town on the logistics. Let's go ahead and promote that. And let's get a few bugs out of it before we release. Let's go for 20 and done. So that got us a bit of money. This is actually coming along really, really nicely. So we might be able to get this out today. We absolutely can. All right. Uh, no bugs to fix. Let's get that done. And there we go. So a pretty good day. A little bit of a profit is not bad. Let's grab an embedded system and let's sort by income. Let's go for game assets again. So we'll get the embedded system done nice and quickly. We'll get the code done nice and quickly. Then we'll make the art the priority down here and go ahead and release you. And we'll go ahead and promote you right away. Okay. So that should... Yeah, that got us up to 91,000. That's not bad. All right. Let's have a little look here and see... Hold on a minute. Have I got the music turned off by chance? I don't. I guess the music only plays in build mode. Does it play outside of build mode? There we go. That's what I wanted. It was very quiet. It did feel very, very quiet. Uh, so in terms of 2D editors, I can't put those on phones, right? I doubt we can do a 3D editor on a phone, but we'll have a little look. No, we can't. 
We, I doubt we can do an audio tool on the phone. I think we already, we already checked this, but we might as well have a look. Obviously we can do games and game engines and phones, but I don't think any mobile game engines exist. Oh, they do, right. Oh wait, maybe they don't. Uh, they do, right, interesting. So this is good. We're gonna use this. It hasn't, this one's actually made a profit though. So let's go with bit engine. So we're gonna try and make a game for Lion Thing OS 3. Does it actually have users? It does. It actually does. Okay. So Lion Thing OS 3. It is gonna be a game with 2D graphics, which needs a 2D editor. We're gonna use whatever we can get away with here. This one's great, so we'll use it. It's gonna have physics, I suppose, and music. May it needs an audio tool with music though, which is a bit rough. This one's outstanding, but I, so, I mean, I guess we'll grab that. Bit of an expensive license, but sure. It's gonna have a bit of dialogue, maybe, no? AI, possibly? Local multiplayer cutscenes? Uh, cutscene seems a bit, that, that, that seems a bit much. Let's just go, is that just called the? No, it's the Wave Tools 5, okay. So that's probably fine. We'll make it an RPG, and it's gonna be, it's gonna be the most, ba it's like mobile quest. We'll call it Mobile Quest. And while we're doing this, what I want to do is make it like 15 pounds. It's an original IP. We'll give it to the core team. It's very, very simple. It's got music, 2D graphics, has no dialogue, not an open world. It's got AI, not even local. It's like, an, it's a very, maybe an open world. Maybe an open world. It's going to take more than a year, but we'll, we'll give it a shot. Anyway, while they're working on that, what I do want to say is if you have any suggestions for any type of software, put them in the comments below. Uh, put them in the comments and as time goes by, I'll make a list of all the different suggestions that come in for different pieces of software. That's one thing to mention. Make sure that you say what you're suggesting, uh, what kind of software you're suggesting. And I'll eventually make a list and I'll start pulling from that list rather than trying to come up with things on the spot because we know that's gonna end terribly. Anyway, these guys are gonna slowly work in Mobile Quest. I want to take a logistics application. I want to take another logistics application and an embedded system. And we're going to make the logistics stuff all the priority over, over uh, Mobile Quest. So let's get that into development. Let's get you into development, you into development. And let's promote you. Uh, let's go ahead and promote you. And let's promote you as well. And then towards the end of the workday, which it now is, we can go ahead and release all of those, getting us up to 96,000 right there. And now we'll work a little bit more on Mobile Quest. So that's obviously gonna take a while. That That is gonna take a little while to do. Do we have any logistics applications? We actually do. So let me grab all three of those, because I think we can do it. Let's make these all like priority eight so that they all get done, you know, way before we're gonna do anything on Mobile Quest. There we go, so get those all in development. These are really not gonna take that long to do. Uh, so that one's ready to promote. Can we maybe, you know what, actually, yeah, I, I kinda want it to always ask me if I wanna do, this one needs art. Okay, that's rough, I did not know that. We can finish that one tomorrow. That's totally fine, we'll do that one tomorrow once our other employees back. So release and release, $108,000 currently. That's fine, our artist is back in, so this one's actually gonna get worked on. And what I think we'll do is maybe grab, uh, maybe a couple of embedded systems. We'll go ahead and accept that and make those priority five and priority six, why not? So this is ready to promote. That's ready to develop, and you're ready to develop as well, and you're ready to release. There we go. So these really aren't gonna take long. Promote and promote. And we'll just let the bugs get taken out of that a little bit, and there we go, $120,000. I honestly think we could probably hire another employee. I do think we could get away with another employee in here. So let's go ahead and see what we can do. Let's see about getting, can we actually clone all of this? 
like so that 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 and that and then just duplicate the whole set and then maybe just do i don't want to block the toilet you know that oh that that sentence came out a bit differently than i meant i don't want to block the door to the toilet <laughs> That sentence came out very different to how I, how I intended. Um, you know what? You know what? We're gonna do this. Uh, we're gonna do this manually um, because I want to have the I want to have the drawers on the left there. I think. So let's go ahead and just recolor these uh, and recolor the drawers as well to be nice and dark there. Let's duplicate you and you, and then let's grab the computer and put it there. We're not going to get another computer just yet. We're not going to be doing that just yet. I want a third employee, not a fourth one, but I will get their desk at least ready. All right. So that's what the plan is there. So let's see what kind of person we're going to need. I don't know if we need marketing yet. I don't think we do. We have an artist. I mean, what is what is this need to this is the design process. So I can do design. That is that is a thing I can do here. If we have a look at teams and look at core, I mean, the art is quite strong. It actually looks like the programming might be the weak side of things. So let's grab ourselves a programmer. This is going to need 2D system and algorithm. So let's maybe go for algorithm since it's the one that's lagging behind a little bit there. So if we look at skill, we're not going to get much, but compatibility wise, I mean, you guys are kind of expensive. What about who's the cheapest here? You're the cheapest and you're actually great. So Sherry Burnett, we are going to hire you. Congratulations. Welcome aboard. Let's also go ahead and see if we can get ourselves a logistics, maybe a couple of embedded systems actually. So we'll grab those and get those done nice and quickly. Oh yeah, they're going to be no problem to do. Look at this nonsense. Look at this nonsense. You know what? Don't ask don't ask me again. <laughs> That's getting a little old, I'm going to be honest. Uh, release and release. Alrighty. So, Mobile Quest is coming along. I definitely think the extra programmer might not be a bad idea. Yeah, look at this. It is, it is chugging along quite nicely there. So, let's get that bit done and develop. It's reached alpha, but doesn't have any followers. Yeah, that's because we're just going to be waiting a while. It needs to be 14 and 14, which honestly isn't going to take that long, but I think we're going to make it as good as we can. Well, in saying that, I did say we were going to be releasing Absolute Tripe, didn't I? So making Mobile Quest as good as it can be kind of goes against company policy, really. Like that That's the challenge here, in my opinion, is... You know, releasing absolute tripe. But I guess the game doesn't actually have that many features. So in a way, it is absolute tripe. Uh, let's do a website and an embedded system here. So we'll do both of those. Design you. That needs some art units. So that's fine. Develop you. And let's make this the priority real quick. Now this one's actually ready to promote, which is good. This one is also ready to promote, which is good. So let's release both of them, bringing us up to $132,000, which gives us a good profit last month. So I guess, I guess what we can... Do we not have any other lights in there? Hold on a minute. I didn't realize we actually didn't have that many lights in here. I guess we do, we do probably want like one, right? We probably want like a decent, yeah, something like that. Can I redecorate this room? I can. I kind of want the interior to be like, do we really want to go for like white? This, this is, it's a little grim looking, if anything. So what about like a, a nice kind of, nice kind of rich wood floor? Oh, oh, I like it. I do like, look at this. Look at that furniture mod, man. I didn't want to do that. Go back up. Hold on. Uh, C and... Uh, what's the other button? H? Yeah. Look at this. Look at the furniture mod, man. It looks so good. Everything looks so... Like, it's properly detailed as well. Everything looks so much better with the furniture. I love it. I really, really love it. Alright, so you guys are just going to continue working on Mobile Quest. 
I guess in the meantime, we can look at all the other companies and see who we're up against. So Smile Delight Corp with five products is worth $28 million. That's because this one made 22 million in 1996, which was an antivirus software. Interestingly, I, I love I love this kind of thing, right? So they did in 95, this company, I assume, sort of revealed itself to the world with Letter, the office software. Letter, the office software, sold 18,000 units and lost them 314,000 pounds. The following year, you know, six, seven months later, they come up with Adware Alarm, making them 22 million, selling, a, you know, 749,584 units. Not even, you know, May, so June, July, August, September, October, November, December, seven months later, they come out with a sequel. And it tanks. It did sell 184,000 units, but due to the fact that the price was so much less, and I assume combined with the fact that it released, you know, seven months after the highly successful original, which is still, you know, being marketed quite well, although has no active users, uh, completely tanked. Did not make them anywhere near as much money. They then waited two years to put out the follow-up, bringing the price back up to where it needs to be, making them another 11 million. And then two years ago, come out with this one, which didn't make over a million because they had a, a 11 pounds. It sold a good number of units, but was so cheap it didn't do anything. So my question is, well, I said my question. My guarantee is that number five, yep, is on its way next May, which is interesting. This year we have a CMS coming up. Um, we've got... We got a couple of different things coming up. We got a game. We got Gun Strike and FPS coming out in 2003. So we'll see what happens there. Uh, Shine Productions is next with three products 95, 97, 99. Their original, the next stop OS, was a pretty good hit. The follow up was even better. And then the one after that was pretty good as well. I mean,. I can't, I can't say that they failed miserably there. The thing that sticks out the most to me, though, with all these different companies, uh, is the fact that Throw LLC founded six years ago and has 370 products. And they aren't actually the inventor of most of them. So I think what the game's implying there is Throw LLC is the nerdrosoft of this world because they've bought out everything before 1995. I think that's what the game's trying to imply there, which is hilarious. That's that's actually really, yeah. 1970, didn't invent that. Yeah, that, that kind of makes sense. So we've got all these things from the 70s. They didn't invent any of it. They did not invent any of it. Uh, then 1980 comes along. You've got all that stuff, yeah. None of that, none of that invented by those guys. And then look, down here, down here, little Slapple. Down here we get little Slapple, worth nothing. With uh, a little bit of money in the bank though. And no fans, that's great. We have no fans, but we're a three star company. I can't complain, I'm gonna be honest. I cannot complain, no fans, but a three star company, that's, that's not bad.